Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. I have such an adorable book to show you today and this is called The Huggable Amagroomy Crocheting Teddy Bears and Other Cute Cuddly Friends. And these are oversized stuffed toys and I think you're going to love this book. It has just been released this year, 2024. Now this book, forgive me if I do not pronounce it correctly, the designs are by Franziska Posier or Fosier. I'm not sure. I think one of those letters are silent. And this is Launder Publishing. So let me give you the ISBN number. Now again, this is copyrighted 2024, so it's a brand new publication. And this ISBN number is the number that you can use to search for this book online. It's 978-163981-065-9. So when you peek inside the book, you're going to see a sneak peek of the table of contents with the designs in this book and you can see just by this photo how adorable what child is not going to love these oversized stuffed toys I'm in my late 60s and I would love to have one of these oversized stuffed toys they're just so darn adorable so let's go ahead and get started so the first pattern, I'm going to have several photos to show you. This is the Big Brown Bear. Now this says it takes about 20 hours to complete the bear. And his finished measurement is 37 and a half inches or 95 centimeters. The level of difficulty is three stars. And then here's another photo of that bear. And then here is a full-size photo of this adorable bear. And you can change the color of the bear to suit your own needs. If you want to make it a darker brown, a lighter brown, you want to change the color of the little sweater or the bow, you can do that. The next pattern is the Sunny Starfish. Now this says the time required is about 20 hours. The finished measurement is 31 and a half inches or 80 centimeters. Now I'm not sure how to read the difficulty level because when I look up here you're going to see three stars. This has a pink and then two brown. So I'm going to take it this means a beginner skill level. So I'm not really sure how to read this. I couldn't find it under the instructions. So just a really cute giant starfish at 31 and a half inches. And then here's another photo of that starfish. And there's another photo of the starfish. And I could even see if you wanted to put a smile on your starfish, you could do that as well. The next pattern is the relaxed rabbit. Now this also says it's about 20 hours to make this rabbit and he measures 36 inches tall or 92 centimeters. Now again, looking at the difficulty rating, there's three stars and one is highlighted. So it looks like it's a pretty simple single crochet stitch pattern. But isn't that a really adorable rabbit? And then here's another photo of that rabbit so you can truly see how big he is. The next pattern, I'm showing you a very small photo. Hopefully you can see that okay. This is one of a kind octopus. Now this says it takes about 15 hours to make this octopus and it measures 33 inches or 84 centimeters. Now the difficulty level has two stars, so I'm going to interpret that as an intermediate skill level. Here's another photo of the octopus stuck in a basket. Here's another photo, and then here's a larger photo. So if your little one likes those sea creatures, they may enjoy this octopus. The next pattern is this adorable tender turtle. Now this says it takes about 17 hours to make and it measures 25 and a half inches or 65 centimeters. Now this is two stars highlighted so I'm going to say it's an intermediate skill level. So there's one photo and then I have the smaller photo here. Here's another photo and here's the larger photo. 
<laughs> Look at this next pattern. This is the Precious Penguin. It takes about 22 hours to make this big guy. He measures 23 and a half inches or 60 centimeters. Now, with this book, it has three stars. Some are highlighted and these are not. So when I'm looking at the pattern, it looks to me like it's a basic single crochet pattern. But I'm going to go ahead and say it may be an intermediate skill level due to the shaping of some of the parts for the penguin. I just thought it was such an adorable pattern. So there's one photo. Here's a smaller photo. And here's another large photo of that penguin. And then over here is an up-close look of his face. The next pattern is the Friendly Fox. Now it says time required is approximately 18 hours. Now you have to give or take a few because of it all depends on your style of crocheting. Now this fox measures 25 and a half inches or 65 centimeters when he's sitting down. Now this is classified as an easy skill level. Here's an up close look at his face. And then here's a larger photo and look how big he is. The next pattern is Zippy Zebra. The time required is about 18 hours and the zebra measures 25 and a half inches or 65 centimeters sitting down. And this is classified as a beginner skill level. Here's a larger photo. And then here's another photo of that zebra. The next pattern is the adorable alpaca. This requires about 20 hours to make and the finished size is 34 inches or 86 centimeters. Now this is classified as a more advanced skill level. So there's one photo. And then here's a larger photo of that alpaca. Now here's another photo of the little girl setting on her alpaca and you can see how much fun that the little ones will have with these toys. The next pattern is called the Easy Going Elephant. Now this requires about 18 hours and the finished elephant measures 29 inches or 74 centimeters. Now this is classified as more of an advanced skill level, probably because of the nose and putting the ears on and just the little details of his feet and arms. But isn't he precious? And then here's another photo of that elephant. The next pattern is called the Giant Giraffe. Now this takes approximately 25 hours to make. The finished size is 31 and a half inches or 80 centimeters. And this is an advanced skill level. And here's another photo of that giraffe. How about the Darling Dog? This takes about 20 hours to complete and the Darling Dog measures 27 and a half inches or 70 centimeters. Now this is also classified as an advanced skill level. Here's another photo of that little dog. And then here's a larger photo of the dog. And what is having a pattern for a dog without having a pattern for a cat? This is the Cuddly Cat and this cat takes about 20 hours to finish and the finish size is 27 and a half inches or 70 centimeters and this is also classified as an advanced skill level. And then here's another photo up close of the cat's face. And then here's a smaller photo where you can see his little tail. The next pattern is called the Sweet Seal. It takes about 18 hours to complete the finished size is 29 and a half inches or 75 centimeters. Now this is classified as an easy skill level. So there's one photo. Here's another photo where she's enjoying laying on her seal using it as a pillow. And then here's another photo just to give you reference to how large these really are. And then in the back of this book, it's going to give you the beginner's course in crochet where it's going to show you all the different stitches, how to make the stitches that are required in your projects in this book, and pretty good detailed photos. It's going to give you the meaning of the stitch abbreviations. 
So now since I'm in the back of the book, I'm finally seeing what the stars mean. So I was correct. One star means beginner or easy. Two stars mean medium or intermediate. And three stars mean hard or advanced. And then here is an article about the author. And she's 29 years old, completely addicted to crocheting and crazy about wool. So you can read more about the author. Here she is, just beautiful designs in the book. Now on the back of the book, it does say that this book is $19.99 in the United States, $26.99 in Canada. Now, my opinion of the book, I do think it's well worth the money. I believe that these oversized stuffed toys are just perfect for the little ones. It could bring a lot of joy to a young child. I think the book has beautiful photographs. The instructions are written a little bit differently than I'm used to, but they're very easy to understand, and I think anyone would love to have one of these crocheted toys. Now, I do want to tell everyone I found my copy of this book through my wholesaler. I did not find it in one of my local stores yet. That's why if you want to find a copy of this book, try to search for it by the name Huggable Amagrumi. And down here is the author's name, Francisca Posier. And you can find it that way or go back to the beginning of the video, get that IBS number, and maybe you can order it from Books A Million or Barnes or Noble or anyone that might have this book. So thank you, everybody. I hope this video has got you inspired today to maybe start a new project. So until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting. Bye, everyone.